Hey everybody, so Slow Sushi here, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I think we're gonna do Emily is Away 2 today because I want to get it kind of, you know, the storyline going before we forget about what happened in Emily is Away 1. I learned some interesting information um, that the ending for that one was just the ending that there was. It was just goodbye. There was nothing you could do about it. The exciting thing about this one is there's like a bunch of different endings, so you don't really know what there's what you're going to get. There's like 19 from what I'm being told. There is some links that people are going to be sending from what I've heard that are music links, but I don't really feel like getting a copyright claim right off the rip of beginning my channel. So I'm going to have to skip out on those. Um, just as I said, because I don't, I don't really want to get in trouble for that. So here we go. Emily is away too. They spelled two wrong too, by the way. It's Emily is away too, but it's T-O-O -O here. I'm sure there's a reason for that. This wizard will guide you through the installation of Emily is away too. It is recommended you close all other programs prior to starting the setup, but not really because this installer is definitely fake. This game contains satire and parody. All characters and entities in this entities in this game are entirely fictional. Except we are all going to feel like we're 16 again and be like, they aren't fictional, they took my story. Next. Look at you guys. The the mouse on this one actually, when you click next, it, you can actually click on the next and not like four inches to the left, which is great. I'm going to do the Cerulean. Looks, looks nice. Preparing files for install. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's that lovely little installation noise going on in the background. Cerulean PNG explored to your desktop. Look at how pixelated it is. How cute. Please set as your background now. I did. Here we go. Emily is away too. New Emily, new choices. There's a new Emily. To begin, click a chapter. Chapter 1. Emily. Who is Emily? My mother would say she's everyone, every girl, every boy, every person that anyone has ever loved. That's pretty deep stuff. Thursday, August 3rd, before senior year. Indexing. I don't remember this being the startup of anything ever, though. Screen name. So slow sushi. First name, Lana. We're gonna we're gonna do the fray. There's a bunch of other different things. I think this is Taking Back Sunday. Sean Paul, the fray. I have no idea what this is. I feel like Sopranos was from the nineties and not the two thousands, but I could be wrong. That seventies show. This looks like the Kool-Aid man. That's super high, but I think it's V is for Vendetta. Sunshine, Sims 2, don't know what that is. I probably should. And this guy was the meme before memes were memes. He's still a meme. People still make new stuff with him all the time. We're going to do the fray. Personal profile. Chameleonaire, Arctic Monkeys against me. Against me. The joke's on us, not on them. Kids pretending to be astronauts, police officers, and firemen. Okay. Harry Potter, V is for Vendetta, Talladega Knights. We're going to do Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter. It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. That is true. Don't be normal. We see what we want. Don't be normal. Being normal is no fun. Oh, look. I can change my colors. What is this? This is my... Okay, this is my font. I'm going to do the blood red color. And the black background. That's how my AIM was always set up. <gasps> I can edit my profile. Oh, I just did this. I just did to cancel the edit. There we go. Punk Forever has messaged me. Yo, Lana. Hello. Punk Forever. Hey, hello. Yo. We're going to give the same energy back. Yo, Evelyn. What is up? Eh. And I'm nothing much. I'm JC. I am Jesus Christ. No, it's just chilling. I'm just chilling. Talking to peeps. I'm gonna be just chilling, yo. I'm JC. How about you? 
Now, there was a thing that I could free, like, I could take off the automatic messaging. Like, I think I can freehand my own messages, but I'm not quite sure how that works. I probably should have clicked that just to check, but um, I'm going to, I plan on doing at least one or two more playthroughs of this and making different decisions so I can get to the, you know, to the end game um, to see what the different endings are. Just chilling. I'm about to paint my nails. I can't decide what color, though. Black, cayenne, cyan, I don't know. I believe in you. Well, if you can't believe in somebody to pick their own nail color, that's a problem. We're going to do black. Black is my favorite color. Duh, black. Is that even a question? No, yeah, Evelyn. I'm going to try to call her Emily through the whole thing, so excuse me. That's my favorite color. Great idea. See, we're already clicking. Speaking of colors, I like your new scheme. LOL, thanks. Spent a lot of time. Yours is okay. Spent a lot of time. You know, that whole 30 seconds really, really did me in. You know, I did spend a lot of time picking it. So, how's your summer going? Well, it's summer. Awesome. It's pretty good. Boring. We're going to do it's pretty good. It's been pretty good. That's swell. Who says that? I don't even remember that being a thing like back in 2000s. What have you been up to? Video games, hanging out with friends, romance. Well, there's there's been no romance. We're going to say video games. A whole lot of video games. Oh, yeah. Awesome sauce. That was a thing. I can't believe we go back to school in a month. School sucks. School's okay. I want to go back. School sucks. Stay in school, kids. I know. High school sucks. But it's almost over. Truth. At least history last. At least history last year wasn't bad. That class was great. Mr. B is the best. I cheated so much. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to admit to cheating and writing. That class was great. It was so great, you guys. I hate history class. It's like one of the most boring classes for me. I don't know why. I just feel like it happened. Why, why bother it? But, you know, that's, that's just me. I know, funny how we never really talked before that. You still have to come hang out with me and my friends sometimes. Someday. I don't know. Definitely. 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 That'd be awesome. Awesome sauce. Hello. Get with the times, me. Got any big plans for the rest of the summer? More video games. Epic end of summer parties. Nothing, really. Well, I've already admitted that I've done nothing but play video games, so I should probably do something other than just, you know, play video games. That makes me sound like a loser. Epic and end of summer parties. Probably some epic end of summer parties. How about you? Me and my friends are driving up to the Warp Tour on Saturday. I'm so sad that Warp Tour is no longer going to be a thing. It lasted forever, and I never got to go to one. I got invited by a bunch of my friends when I was younger, but could never go. And now I've missed the opportunity. So I'm going to live vicariously through this AIM messaging game. What's Warp Tour? I know what Warp Tour is. We're not choosing that one. Going to Mosh? Are you excited? Can you mosh at Warp Tour? See, that's how little I know because I never went. Are you excited? Of course she is. Who wouldn't be? She better be. Hell yes, punk rock is the best. What's your favorite kind of music? Alternative, hip hop, punk rock too. I would say punk rock too, although I, I am very partial to alternative as well. They kind of like, I like them both. I'm not partial to one over the other, but I'm trying to impress this girl. I don't know why yet, but it's happening. Def definitely punk rock. I hate when they backspace on me. Next time I got I gotta choose the freehand thing. Yo, you're my new best friend. Yo, what's up, bestie? I can't wait to see the census fail. Do you know them? 
I can't wait to see Senses Fail. Do you know them? Of course I know who Senses Fail is, even though I pronounced their whole band name wrong at first. Of course, they're so good. I know, right? Have you heard this one? Oh, this is going to be one of those links. I want to jam out so bad. This is great. Everything by Senses Fail is great. No, like, actually click the link. Oh. It's going to make me actually click the link, you guys. Please let me pause it before it plays. Okay. It's... Okay. I, I have it so it's muted right up front. So that's good. Um, it senses fail, let it unfold you. I don't know if I've actually heard that one, so now I have to look it up. Okay, I just did. How did she know I didn't click the link? That wasn't a thing in AIM. What'd you think? I really like it. Not my thing. It's okay. I really like it. Yes, you're the best. It's official. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Evelyn. It's my favorite song by them. I've got the lyrics in my buddy profile. Speaking of infos, I don't think I've looked at yours. It's amazing. Don't look. Just updated it. It's going to be amazing. Oh, it's amazing. We're going to look at hers. Is this it? My first name will be my last one. Let the light drip into your eyes. Senses fail. Now I have to listen to that with, you know, deep, swooing lyrics like that. Why would I not? Talk is cheap and it doesn't mean much. Don't lose touch against me. And fuck you, Ben Franklin. Yeah, Ben Franklin, fuck you. Too bad tick. Hey, against me, awesome sauce. Too bad tickets are sold out for Warp Tour. Maybe next year. It's okay. You'll have to text me. You'll have to text me. I mean, it's not the same as being there, but you just have to text me while you're there. Laugh out loud. Sure thing. Man, I don't know where my friends are. They were supposed to pick me up like half an hour ago. Call them? I'm sorry. Probably dead. <sighs> Probably dead is what I'm going to pick just because that sounds like some sarcastic shit that I would say in real life. You know, they're probably dead. That's exactly how I would say it, too. <sighs> You're probably right. We're supposed to go to my friend's house and party. Parents not around? I'm jealous. And leave me? How are you going to just leave me like that, Evelyn? What? You're going to leave me? That makes me sound really clingy right off the rip, huh? Don't you worry, I got my phone. I should probably start getting some stuff together. Get stuff together. Not coming back tonight? Do you, um, do you want to sign off? Get stuff together. Asking if she's going to be back just sounds clingy and weird. You need to get stuff together? Yeah, there's a good chance I'll stay over Jackie's tonight. Oh, I should bring a movie. Want to help me pick? Laugh out loud, sure. I mean, no. Yes, please. Laugh out loud, sure. I'm not a big movie person. What are the options? Unless it's zombie movies, horror movies. Final Destination 3 or The Descent? Final Destination 3 sucked. After the first two, I feel like it was just over with. I'll still watch them. I'll watch them all day long, but... Like, you know what's going to happen with the whole, you know, foreshadowing thing. They they don't really foreshadow well, or they do it too well. I don't know which one it would be, but, you know, you always know what, what's going to happen before it happens. You're pretty much watching it just for the gory deaths at that point. So we're going to do The Descent. The Descent is scary. I don't know. Thinking about it just creeps me out. Being in a small space with no way out. Obviously, The Descent. That movie is incredible. I, I think I've actually seen that, too. I know, right? The movie creeps me out. I just said that. Yeah, me too. Just go. don't go splunking. It does vampires, right? It does vampires? I'm going to say, yeah, me too, because obviously the third one, I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, it creeps me out, too. We should watch it together. Especially their, like, faces. Blech. What movies are your favorite? Horror. 
Although I do like comedy. I'm not a big action person. It's just a lot of explosions and guns and loudness, and it's just not my cup of tea. Comedies, horror, horror. I think I'd have to say horror movies. Do you like me more, Evelyn? Yo, mine too. See? Perfect friendship. We should watch them together at some point. For sure. I'd like that. I do scream. I'd like that. Evelyn, come on. I'm so impatient. Hey, just got a text. Bye. They'll be here soon. Who's going? They're not dead, what'd they say? They're not dead. We're going to be excited for her that her friends aren't dead. Hello? Oh, somebody else has messaged me. It's Emmers. I bet this is Emily. Hey, Lana. Howdy. Hey, hello. We're never saying howdy. I'm not a freaking cowboy. Hello, Emily. It's Emily. She's back. What's up? Nothing really. Chilling. Talking to people. Talking to peoples. Just talking to peoples. You. Oh goodness, now I have to keep up two conversations at the same time? Sorry, just texting them back. Yeah, they're not dead. They're late because Steve had to get the alcohol. Do I know him? Good job, Steve! Who's Steve? We believe in Steve, so we're gonna say good job. Good job, Steve. Talking to people too. So did you do anything fun today? Video games, hung out with friends, just chilled. We're gonna say video games because I'm just gonna be honest with both of them. Just played video games like all day. Evelyn. I know, right? Clutch work. He's only 20, but he's got a fake ID. Wish I had one. How do you get that one? I bet that's handy. When you're in high school, you're going to think that's handy. You're going to wish you had one, but you don't tell anybody that. You just say that it's handy to have. I bet that's handy. I need to get a friend with one. LOL. Or just find somebody that's, you know, a year older. Not that hard. Cool beans! I say that phrase all the time. And it definitely came from the 2000s. It just never died with, you know, the early 2000s for me. I played games, like, all this morning, too. That's cool. Didn't know you played. Should have played together. Didn't know you played. Maybe this Emily will talk to me more than once a year. What do you play? Yeah, I'll give him your screen name. Okay. Wow, they ended up with a lot. I see some drunk texts in my future. I want some. Laugh out loud. That's hilarious. You can see the future? You can see the future. What do they say? The Sims 2. I'm like addicted to that game, haha. I did not play The Sims 2. I played The Sims 3 and I would play it for hours. And when I say hours, I would be like sitting there playing it. And next thing I know, I look at the clock and five hours had went by. And I'd done pretty much nothing. But I also used cheats on it. So I spent a lot of that building my fancy big house. So, slash mother load. Anybody? Uh, hey, me too. I want to play it so bad. Pretty solid choice. Hey, me too. I almost picked that Sims 2 buddy icon. That's not true. I didn't almost pick the Sims 2 buddy icon. You'll see. I'm sure some are headed your way. This weekend should be fun, but my friends are ditching me next weekend. What? Why? Boo! Screw them. I can see why. That seems mean, but I want to know where this goes. You know, I can kind of see why. Because I'm obviously joking. Smiley faces mean you're joking even in the most serious situations. You can be as bitchy as you want as long as you add a smiley face to it. Really? I'm just a sucker for any RPG-ish game. What games are your favorites? I love RPGs. I also love MMOs. I do not like first-person shooters. They make me upset. You will see this in the near future as I play Apex. Um, RPGs too. I'm gonna go with that. 
I'd have to say RPGs too. Left, left, right. They're gonna go on a road trip, and my mom won't let me go. I need plans. Hang out with me. We could do something. You could just rest. I mean, we could do something and hang out with me is pretty much the same thing. But one is asking, and one is kind of implying to let her lead her own path. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see what she wants to do. We could do something. Think, okay. Maybe like go see a movie. Adding the word together to something just seems to intimidate people. I don't know why, because obviously you're going to be together anyways. Really? No wonder we're such good friends. We should hang out and play games sometimes. Yeah, maybe. I'm player one. We should. I'm player one. Always. As long as I get to be player one. Look at me being smooth. Do they have a game called Eric is Away so I don't feel like, you know, I'm hitting on women all the time? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, maybe. Hang out, like, just us? Yeah, just us. I guess so. Why not? I don't know. I guess so. Why not? Whatever you want. Yes, that's better for me, actually, because that lets her pick. She doesn't need to be intimidated by my decision haha <laughs> you wish so that was my morning then i just hung out at jeff's house who is jeff emily that's cool your boyfriend is that j radio 49 oh look i want to know if that is j radio 49 and why is he on my friends list if i don't know who he is i'm cool just us and we both love horror movies i'll see you next weekend then sounds good yay damn right sounds good to me. It is, haha, but it got super boring, so I left, haha. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm glad you left. Boring? That sucks. Why was it boring? Just finished packing. I'm gonna head out. Inebriated text incoming. See ya, goodbye, deuces. Deuces! So I watched a little bit of Jacksepticeye playing this, and he didn't know what deuces was. I guess it must just be an American thing, and it kind of made me laugh because he had no idea. He was like, I don't know what that means. She said, laugh out loud, what the fuck. Warp tour this weekend, rise against, against me, and senses fail. Bye, Evelyn. Evelyn is away. He was just doing his own thing the whole time. Whatever. I'd rather be home talking to people anyways. I'm glad you're home then. Yay, internet. People like me. Hey, people like me. Now I want to see J Radio. Current mood. I'm not listening to that. Music is my escape. I'll lay down the tracks, sandbags, and hide. January has April showers, and two and two always makes up five. Radiohead. Two and two does not make five. Just so you guys know, that's bad math on Radiohead's part. I'm going to have to listen to that song, though, now to know what the context is behind it. I was thinking the other day, it's pretty crazy how our group of friends has stayed together, like, all of high school. It is crazy. I know. Don't ask me how. Yeah, don't ask me how. I wonder if senior year is going to change that. Probably. Don't think so. I don't know. I mean... Senior year probably won't change it, but after senior year, when everybody starts going to colleges or, you know, as people start getting responses from colleges, I, things will probably change. So I'm going to say, I don't know, because you really, you really don't know in that situation. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Did we check Emily's thing yet? My tongue still misbehaves and it keeps digging my own grave, Snow Patrol. So she's still into the Snow Patrol in this game. I know it's a different Emily, but... Your name isn't real, but I don't care for sand and lighting. Life moves pretty fast, don't miss it. It's true, life is flying by. Yeah, I don't know, people have already started to act differently. Let's just stay friends, okay? Sure, we'll see, of course. Sure. We'll stay friends. BFFs forever. Good. It would suck to lose you. Aw. Emmers, that's so nice. 
Hey, do you know the band Snow Patrol? Yes, Emily, I do. Oh, definitely. Don't think so. Chasing Cars? They have that song, Chasing Cars, right? Yes, that is right. Oh, yeah. But the radio kind of murdered that one. It is true. They played that one so much. Here's another one off their new album. It's my favorite. Oh, God. Here comes another link. I'll let you guys know what it is. It's called Open Your Eyes, which I don't think I know that song by them. So that's another song I'm going have to have to listen to. I like this. It's okay. I don't like it. I'm going to say I like it because I like everything I've listened to by Snow Patrol. Oh, I like this song a lot. Is she going to ask me what my favorite music is too? Isn't it grand? People also don't say grand. The music video is really cool too. Where was it shot? Looks dangerous. It's perfectly timed. We're going to say that it looks dangerous. It looks dangerous. LOL. Who's mad at that? Pickard sure loves his cake. R.I.P. Leroy Jenkins. Ha! Oh my god. I don't know if any of you ever played WoW, but look up Leroy Jenkins if you have and you've never heard of him. Most people have heard of it, but that that's, that's fucking phenomenal. Aw, Bob Saget. Don't talk about Total. I don't know what that is. And Loud Pipes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Ha, uh, seriously, it goes through so many red lights. I want to see them live so bad, but, like, no bands ever play around here. That's so true. I don't know about that. Certain bands don't play. I'm going to say that's so true. I'm going to pretend this is from my hometown, and I lived in a tiny, hick little town with very few people, and there was never anything that happened. That's so true. All we get is, like, Warp Tour. Um, we didn't even get Warp Tour. So everything I just said to you guys was baloney. Oh yeah, that's the like punk music festival, right? Do you know anyone who goes to those? Yeah, some friends, just random people. Nope, don't know anyone. That'd be really rude. Yeah, some friends. Some of my friends are going. Cowbells, who are you? Whoa, holy fucking pink. Birthday party this weekend. A million feelings, a thousand thoughts, a hundred memories, all for that one boy. Give me a summer to remember. Whoa. Okay. What's your favorite kind of music? Alternative punk rock, hip hop. It's going to be punk rock again. Re Consistency is key. Punk rock, I guess. What's yours? What is hers? With Snow Patrol? Isn't that. What would that be? Pop? They're alternative? Okay. Oh, cool beans. I guess mine would be alternative. You'll have to send me some punk rock songs, some punk rock songs sometime. Sure thing. Yeah, of course. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Only if you're lucky. Hey, you finally set up your buddy info. I did. Against me? I don't think I know them. If you liked punk rock, Emily, you would. Yeah, so good. Some songs, I guess. You'd like them. I bet you'd like them. You should listen to them. I will. Thanks for the recommendation. You are very welcome, Emily. Foxbox. I haven't checked them out. Dank Lord's Meme Emporium. Your source for the dankest memes on the net. Does anybody use dankest anymore? I don't think anybody really used it much back way back when either. Message me for the latest and greatest memes. Or you can go on Facebook. I got the advice... Animals, flash animations, YouTube videos, at all the lowest prices you can find on the web. Did people used to, did, did they really used to pay for memes? Free samples, Snoop Dogg's Dreamland. I wish I could show you guys these things. I'll look at it later. I will, thanks for the recommendation. Quick, I need your help coming up with a good excuse. What for? I can help. Your dog ate it. Your dog ate it. That shit always works. It never works. Ha ah, I don't know about that. It's not that type of situation. Jeff wants to hang out with his friends this weekend, but I really don't want to. Why not? Stupid Jeff. I don't like his friends. Don't like his friends? I'm sorry. I said I don't like his friends. I'm making assumptions. Don't like his friends? Question mark? Stupid Jeff. Ugh. Wanted to hang out with his girlfriend. How dare he? 
and his stupid friends. That sounds so like me. Makes me laugh. Ah, uh, they're not awful. Hanging out with them just means sitting around getting drunk. And I don't drink, so I don't know. So it doesn't sound like fun. Well, that sucks. Bunch of cool kids. That doesn't sound like fun. It doesn't sound like much fun. I mean, even though I'm obviously not against the alcohol in this game or in real life, um, going to somebody's house who drinks and sitting there sober really sucks ass. Yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. A lot of fun. I just stop trying to be psychic. Ah, uh, yeah, do you drink, Lana? Definitely not. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. I do, on occasion. Yeah, I drink sometimes. Yeah, I guess I'm just weird. You're not weird. Don't worry about it. You can do whatever. You're not weird. Oh, come on. You're definitely not weird. It's sad that teenagers feel like that, though. I don't know, it's just hard not having someone seeing it from my perspective. Well, then find somebody that does. But it's okay, so this excuse. I just panicked and said I already had plans, haha. -ha. What are your plans? The old scheduling conflict. But you don't have plans? Obviously not me. Am I dumb? The old scheduling conflict. Nice. I spell things with a lot of double letters that don't need them. Now I just need to find some plans for tomorrow. Hang out with me. Didn't we have plans? You'll figure it out. Did we make plans? We can we can make plans. Hey, yeah. Didn't we have pl like plans? We could. I don't know. Or we can just sit here and change the writing on me. We could listen to some music together. Hmm, maybe. Should we invite other people? Other people suck. I'm fine not invite, inviting anybody. I mean, maybe. I mean, she's not single. So I'm assuming that since Emily is away, it was about, you know, feelings and liking people. I don't want to, like, act like, you know, that guy named Brad just sliding into people's DMs. Brad didn't do that in Emily is away one. I just, I hate Brad. Fuck Brad. I mean, maybe? I don't really care. Either way. There we go. Whatever. I guess we like different kinds of music anyways. So maybe we should invite some people to figure something else out. Yeah, of course. Sure, I guess. Sounds good. Sounds good. Not gonna be upset. No problem. Sounds good. Cool. I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. Yeah, you better. Hit me up whenever. You know where to find me. You know where to find me. Oh, wow. It's getting kind of late, huh? Oh, this one doesn't have the time on it like the other one did. No, it's not. Stay up. I guess it is. I guess it is. Because I don't know what time it is. Yeah, lol, I guess it is. I think I'm going to head to bed. See ya. Goodbye. Deuces. 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 And a magic trick makes the world disappear. Achievement unlocked. Summer of 08. So that was in 08. I don't remember what Emily's Away went up to. I think it was pro I think it was 2007. Press the button in the lower left to sign out. Oh, you actually have to sign out of this one. Autumn 2006. If there is no love in the world, we will make a new world. We will give it walls and a knocker that resonates so softly that we will never hear it. Jonathan Saffron Fower. Well, Jonathan, if you never hear the knocker, then what the hell is the sense of putting it on the door in the first place? There's not. There, there is no sense to that. All right, we're going to play. At least there's no Brad in this. Now we just have Jeff. Stupid Jeff. That's his name, right, Jeff? I think so. October 2006. 
Scrubs, Cheeseburger Cat, Casino Royale, The Departed, The Wire. Why do I not know what these are? I don't know. Black Parade. Black Parade. That is from My Chemical Romance. Snow Patrol, Census Fail, Lupe Fiasco. Census Fail. And as we grow, emotions start to die. We need to find a way to keep our desire alive. Borat, The Departed, Final Destination 3. Final Destination 3 probably has some pretty funny quotes in it, so I'm going to go with Final Destination 3. Death is fucking complicated. I don't know, I think it's probably one of the simplest things you go through. Destroy what destroys you. The best is yet to come. We're going to do destroy what destroys you. That sounds kind of like empowering. All right. I'm done. Oh, I have to message them first. Hiya, Evelyn. Hi. Hey, yo. Oh, it says hey, yo. That's not what I put. There's supposed to be an A on the end of that, not O's. Lana, how is you? I is good. I'm good. Ugh, bored. Pretty tired. I'm good. How are you? Oh, Emily got a hold of me. Hey, Lana, what's up? Nothing much. Some homework. Listening to music. I'm going to put listening to music. Sorry I keep touching my face. My hair is driving me nuts today. I probably should have pinned it back before I started this, but here we are. Listening to music. You. Same. Hey, do you know what today is? Your birthday? Friday. Leif Erickson. Leif Erickson! It's Leif Erickson Day! Per SpongeBob. Oh, shit. Is it Leif Erickson Day? Is that really a real thing? Now I have to look that up. Happy Leif Erickson Day, Hinger Hergen. I love Spongebob. Not too much. We got home from Kelly's a little while ago. What do you two do? How is she? Why was I invited? I'm not going to be a whiny little bitch. What do you two do? Oh, that's cool. What do you two do? Nothing. Yeah, it was fun. That doesn't tell me what you did, Emily. She showed me this new site, The Face Nook. Do you know it? The Face Nook. Yeah, I do. Only for colleges, like MySpace. I want to put only for colleges because that's originally what Facebook started off with. Was just for college students. I thought that was only for colleges. No, what is that? It's actually... Oh, shit, my mom's calling me. Be back in a bit. How's that for sus some suspense? I hate it when people did shit like this on AOL. What? Dork. You have to tell me. Dork. Oh, you dork. Talk to you soon. Talk to you later. If I'm not back in an hour, avenge me. Will do, Evelyn. Not anymore. I'm setting up my profile now. There's just so many questions. Don't get any wrong. Questions like what? They don't matter too much. Questions like what? Oh, really? Questions like what? Your favorite this, your favorite that, and I have to write a status now. What should I write? Emily is boring. Emily is talking to Lana. Emily is the best. Emily is the best. The format for Facebook used to be so much different than it is now. Ah, uh, that's definitely what I should use. There, it's finally done. I bet it's awesome. Send me a link. Can I see? Cool. I bet it's awesome. Don't give in, Lana. Don't make fun of it. Oh, she's going to send me a link anyways. Oh, wow, it has a whole thing set out, just like Facebook. Emily plans to attend Relay for Life. Emily posted a video, YouTube, Snow Patrol. So they have YouTube on here, but yeah, when they... Well, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay, so Emily and Jeff are now friends. Does it have a relationship status for her? In a relationship, but Jeff is not tagged in it. 
but she just made it. So, I mean, we can't really, you know, blame her. I know you guys can't see any of this, and I'm sorry for that. Um, going to read your note. Nice status. I'm going to poke you. Ha <laughs> ha I'm going to poke you. Oh, I'm going to poke you so much. That sounded so much worse than I thought it was going to. Ha <laughs> ha, the poke war is on. That was, like, the biggest thing on Facebook, and I hated all of it. You should send me a friend request when you get the chance. Will do. Sure thing. If you're lucky. Sure thing. So, what are you up to tonight? Just going to stay in. Probably stay up late. Fair enough. If seeing is believing, then believe that we have lost our eyes. Don't worry, I'm still here. Oh, I was like, she just ditched me out of nowhere. What the hell? I remember when they got this in AIM, so you could act like you were away so you didn't have to talk to specific people. I loved it. Why are you away? Hiding from someone? Showing off your away message? The only issue with it was that you didn't go idle, and then people knew that you were still there. Laugh out loud. Are you hiding from someone? I bet you it's Jeff. Ooh, who's Swanky87? Still searching. I won't be saved. What did you expect from me? Try to forget me and just move on. I don't have love left inside, so take what I left you for the pain and do your best to forget my name. And I can't read that down there. 10,000 fists. Ha, ah, you caught me. I just don't want to talk to some people. Like who? Why? Do I have to beat somebody up? Do I have to beat someone up? Oh no. Do I have to beat someone up? I feel like I lost friends. Like, I feel like that list over to the left was a lot longer. Probably wasn't. No, haha, Jeff's just kind of being an ass. What happened? I never liked him. I'm sorry. What happened? Well, what happened? Let's find out. Just some bullshit. I don't know. Maybe I'm being bitchy tonight or something. You seem fine. Not to me. You're never bitchy. You seem fine. What'd he say? Look at me being all nosy. I can send you the chat log. Chat logs were the best way to stab your friends in the back. Just don't show anyone, okay? I promise. Why would I? Sure thing. Of course. I promise I won't. Send it to me. Send it to me. Oh, look. I even get... I accept or decline. Accept. 26... That's funny. Oh, it transferred to my. Did it actually transfer to my actual desktop? It transferred to my actual desktop. That's so neat. Okay. So it says, Emma signed in. Jeff was like, Hey, Emily. Emily says, Hey, what's up? Jeff's like, Nothing much, you. Emily's like, Nothing much. Jeff says, So, when are you coming over? Emily says, I don't know if I can tonight. I have a lot of homework to do. Jeff says, You can just do it here. Emily says, it's like project kind of stuff. I really don't think I can come. Jeff says, oh, come on, Emily. We've had this planned all week. Emily says, I know. I'm sorry. Jeff says, are you really not going to come over? I had a whole night planned for us. Emily says, I don't think so. Jeff says, holy shit. Are you serious? What the fuck, Emily? Emily says, look, I'm sorry, okay? I told you it might not work out. Jeff said, I didn't think you were fucking serious. Emily says, well, I was. Jeff says, I really can't believe you. Emily said, I think I'm just going to go. Jeff says, sure, whatever. And Emily went away. So, I don't know who I agree with in this this instance. If Jeff and had something planned out for a week, then Emily should have told him. I mean, it sounds like, actually, it sounds like Emily did tell him that something might be happening and she might not be able to make it. So, maybe he should have planned it for another day. And he did act kind of ridiculous. I'm a girl. I'm probably going to you know, stick up for her anyways, let's just be honest, but, um, he, he was kind of a dick about it, she really, she really should have tried to keep the plans, though, at least went over there for a little while, but if you don't want to, you don't want to, what are you, what are you gonna do? Did you get it yet? I did. I don't know, do you think I was out of line? Definitely not, not really, I don't know. I don't put not really, because as I said, like, she really should have told him before last minute. I mean, not really. If anything, I think he was... 
Yeah, the swearing and stuff like that was a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, I just don't want to go over tonight. But she did lie. Sometimes it's just hard being there. Why is it hard? That's not good. I understand. Why is it hard? I just feel like I'm expected to act a certain way when I'm there, and I hate that. The problem solved, though, because I can just fake being away and talk to you. Well, that doesn't really solve the problem, Emily. That just hides the problem. Away messages are the best. We can always talk. I'm always here for you. I'm always here for you. I have to because it was throughout the whole last thing. Yeah, I know that I'm always here for you. That was like Emily is away one's big thing, was that you were always there for her. And you still got nothing. Thanks, Lana. Hey, random question. Do you remember my favorite games? She liked RPGs like me. Oh, I should probably click it, huh? Oh, yeah. Role-playing games. Right? Yeah. You better remember mine. I'm going to ask you. Whoa, you remembered! Yes, I did. I'm impressed. You should be. How could I forget? It's pretty obvious. You should be. You should be impressed, Emily. Do you remember mine? Oh, here we go. It's RPGs too. Of course I remembered. Yay! You're good. That's not it. Correct. I could so fuck with her and tell her that's not it, but I feel like that'd be mean. You're good. Wow. You're pretty good. Hey, thanks. You're welcome, Emily. Hey, let's listen to some Seeger Ross together. Alternative? Another alternative band? You bet. I really love this album. So your Ross is kind of cool. I'm okay with them. I wish I could understand what they were saying, though. It's a lot like, uh, oh, goodness, what's the name of that band? I can't remember the name of the band. They sing Moscow and stuff like that. I think it starts with an R. Moscow band singer. Moscow. Band that sings Moscow. How about that? Band that sings Moscow. That doesn't help. I don't remember the name of it. it starts with an R. I'll figure it out. It'll pop up. Anyways, you bet. I really love this album. This is pretty great. It's pretty good. Not for me. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's all right. There, are, Seeger Ross is okay. Yay, let's listen to the album together. Well, now you're just asking for an awful lot. Um, I have no idea what the lyrics mean, but their music always makes me feel so happy. It's beautiful. I'm glad you're happy. Let's go to Iceland. I'm glad you're happy. Iceland is an awfully big leap from listening to a an album together. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Without stupid Jeff. Thanks, I'm glad you're online to talk to. So, have you started applying to colleges? Oh yeah, definitely. Haven't sent any yet. Nah, we got time. Oh yeah, definitely. I started applying this summer. Oh wow, you're on the ball, haha. I haven't really started yet. Where were you looking to go, ideally? Close by, far away, anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere that'll take me, LOL you. I must have great grades. I don't know, I'd really love to go to school in the city. And I've always thought it would be really cool to live in New York. Emily, I live in New York. Don't do it. It's not a good idea. Well, New York City. Actually, I like New York City. It's just, it's too crowded for me, though. And there's too much noise. But I like being in there, like, to visit and stuff like that. It's nice. And there's a lot of cool stuff that goes on there. That'd be cool. So noisy and loud. Expensive. Oh, yeah, and it's super expensive. Don't you think it'll be really noisy and loud? I'm counting on it. So she likes noisy and loud. I think I really just want to get out of here and go someplace totally new, you know? I understand. I feel the same. Oh, that's cool. I understand. Do you want to stay in New York after college? Yeah, I think that could be really grand. 
But, I don't know, planning that far out can be a little silly. So much could change. I know what you mean. Good to have a plan, though. It's good to have a plan. I'm a planner. Sometimes it's good to have a plan. I barely stick to them, though. So I'm a planner, but I don't stick to them very often. Yeah, but so much is unknown, you know? And I really don't see myself settling down anytime soon. Like, right now, honestly, I don't even see myself having kids. That's okay. Like, ever? Why do you say that? Adoption? I'm going to ask why do you say that, even though, like, I don't want her to feel like I'm questioning her because you don't have to have kids. I feel like everybody's got, like, this standard of they have to, you know, go to college, get married, have kids, or, and, like, just move on in the same linear path that everybody else does, but you don't have to. Why do you say that? Then people question you, like, why don't you want kids? You're a woman. You're supposed to have kids. I don't know. I just don't want crotch goblins, I guess. I just don't see myself wanting a family. I just want to be able to take life as it comes, I think. Good philosophy. Be careful, wild and free. Good philosophy. If that's what makes her happy, then let her be happy. Yeah, that's a really good philosophy to have. I think so. Hopefully it works out. How about you after college? Do you want to settle down like right after? I don't think so. Taking life as it comes. Sounds pretty good to me. Cool beans. I'm so glad you think the same way I do. And if you move to New York too, maybe we'll be roommates. Hey, maybe. I'd like that. No tiny apartment. Yeah, we don't want a tiny apartment. You can't live in a tiny apartment, then. They're so tiny and so expensive. Ha, ah, true. Thanks for letting me talk about it. Whenever you, whenever I talk about New York with Jeff, he always gets so upset. He wants to settle down. Why does he get upset? That's not fair. That's really not fair. I mean, I, I, well, he's allowed to get upset, but he should also support her if he loves her. So that's not really fair that he makes her feel that way. Well, that's not fair. You should be able to talk about it. Yeah, haha, -ha, he doesn't want me to go far away, which is kind of understandable. But I think he knows I'd go without him. He seems like an ass. You go without him, do you even like him? Do you even like him? I'm going to be bold and ask the question because for all the shit she talks about him and how unhappy she seems, it just... It doesn't seem like she's into it. Okay, good. I started off like that. Don't take this the wrong way. But do you even like him? Yeah, I do. He's going through a really tough time. Then you should stop being so judgmental, Emily. He just wants to be a more serious couple. More serious? Do you want that? What do you mean? More serious? Like how? That is the question. This is pretty personal, so you can't tell anyone, okay? Swear to God. Of course not. Who would I tell? Of course I'm not going to tell. I won't tell anyone. Did I check her message thing? Hop, I pull, I ingum, stig vellum. Jumping into puddles completely soaked. Oh, egg, I'm saying that all wrong. I'm not. I'm not reading this line right here. My nose began to bleed, but I got up again. Seeger Ross. Of course, it's Seeger Ross. Soft breath, beating heart, as I whisper in your ear, I want to fucking tear you apart. See, I can relate with that. I like that one. This up here is random, and I can't read. You know the original language. So, me and Jeff Hannah had sex. Oh, okay. Well. Wasn't expecting that one. I think he wanted to try tonight or something. His parents aren't home. Do you want to? Is that why you didn't go over? Don't do it to make him happy. Don't do it to make him happy. That's a good philosophy to live by. Oh, I would never. I'm just not ready for that with him. And that's okay. But it's okay. It's not like he's ever tried anything. Well, that's that's nice of him. At least he's respectful about it. It's just kind of annoying to keep turning him down. Just be careful. I'm sorry. That is annoying. Wait until you're ready. I'm sorry. That is annoying. 
It's okay to not want to. I'm a good friend. Yeah, but sometimes I feel weird. Like, I should have done it by now. You're not weird. Screw that. Do whatever you want. Screw that. Nah, screw that. Fuck shoulds. It's your life. Live it how you want, Emily. You're welcome. If you don't mind me asking, have you had sex? Uh, I'm gonna say no. No, I haven't. I've been a good high schooler. Oh, cool, then we're in the same boat, haha. That makes me feel a lot better. Good. Thanks so much for talking to me about it. Of course. I will always be here. I charge by the minute. I charge by the minute. You're lucky I don't charge by the minute. Seriously. Well, I guess I owe you. Haha. -ha. I'm sorry. I stole so much of your night just talking about random stuff. It's been nice. It's really okay. I don't mind. It's been nice. Honestly, it's been nice. Kells Bells. Yeah, it has been. I really like talking to you about stuff. I feel like we're different now, but in a good way. I feel that way too. We're really close friends. I don't know what we are. I'm not going to say I don't know what we are because that sounds weird. I feel like we're just really close friends now. Oh well. Now this is a girl. She... Was somebody, I guess we had had friends for a long time. Like, we've all been friends for a while, so... I guess we weren't as close as we are now. I don't know. But, anyways. I feel like we are, too. Are we best friends? I feel like reading that in, like... I read that in Spongebob's voice for some reason. With his eyes all big and, you know, his eyes lashes going. Good, I'm glad. Closer than you and Kelly. Oh, well, that's just not right. Good, I'm glad. I don't want to have to compete with Kelly and Jeff. Oh, man. I think I need to get off the computer now. Oh, why? Bedtime? That's okay. Is Evelyn ever going to get back to me to let me know what the hell she was talking about? My mom needs to look at emails or something. All oh, the good old days of your mom needing to look at emails and you just are like in the middle of conversations with a million people and you gotta sign off because there was only one computer in the house and you didn't have a fancy cell phone. It sucked. A lot. You didn't realize it sucked back then though. You just kind of accepted it for what it was. I'll miss you. Boo, not cool mom. Need your own computer. Boo, not cool mom. Haha, uh -huh, I know, seriously. And her mom was probably standing behind her like, Get off the computer, Emily. Thanks again for everything tonight. No worries. It was nothing. Anytime. Anytime. Hey, anytime. I'll talk to you again soon, okay? Well, how am I going to know when she's actually really away now? Talk to you later. You better. See ya. You better. Emily has... Oh, that's how. Because Emily signed out. Who signed on? Oh, she signed back on. Maybe I will find out. Back. Duh, it's Friday the 13th. Good thing we're not counselors. Happy Friday the 13th, not a holiday. Good thing we're not counselors. No Jason here. Laugh out loud, pretty much. What are you going to do to celebrate? Black magic, nothing. Bob for apples. Black magic, duh. What else is there to do on Friday the 13th? Definitely some black magic. You? Yo, same. I'm so happy it's fall. It's like my favorite season. I adore fall. Fall makes me so happy and sad all at the same time. Mine too. Are you going to dress up for Halloween? I always dress up for Halloween. No matter what. Definitely. Oh, most definitely. Why wouldn't I? Awesome sauce. Me too. Jackie's having a big Halloween party. Are they going to invite me to the Halloween party? 
I'm looking at costumes now. What do you think I should go as? A witch, a sexy nurse, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Sexy nurse is just like the default setting for everybody for uh, Halloween. I was going to say Nurses Week. That's what we're celebrating at work, and I don't know why I put that together. I was actually trying to decide between Alice in Wonderland and Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Always go with Sally. The Nightmare Before Christmas is freaking awesome. So she sent links to some Alice in Wonderland costumes and the Sally costumes. And... The Sally costumes are kind of cute. As I said, I would do Sally anyways, like, as a as an outfit. I think I like the Sally costume the most. That's such an iconic movie. That's what I was thinking. I'll go back to pick it up tomorrow. Jackie's parties are always crazy. You can probably expect more drunk texts. I never got the first ones, Evelyn. Lucky me. Hey, I'm down. You're a mess. You're a mess. Laugh out loud. You're a mess. Just try to spell better this time. I think I still have some of those locked on my phone from this summer. I don't know how you under uh, yeah. I don't know how you understood any of them. Me either, since I can't even talk right. I'm that good. Honestly, I didn't. You have them saved? What? You still have them saved on your phone? I save all text messages, so I'm guilty of this. I don't have them locked though. Oh, I like this one. Which one? Oh my god, we think Jackie's roof died now and stars never flooded so beautiful. You think Jackie's high now. Jackie's roof starts to flood. Stars never look so beautiful. Stars never look so beautiful. Stars never looked so beautiful. You got it. Damn, I'm impressed. How do you get thanks, roof, and thigh, though? Because I'm assuming it says, oh my god, we're on Jackie's roof now, and the stars never look so beautiful. You know, I'm not going to question it. You got it. Damn, I'm impressed. Laugh out loud. Hey, maybe you could just come to the party. Do you drink? Sometimes, yeah. Of course I do. Nah, I don't. I don't know why I start with number two all the time. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes, yeah. Not too much. So, Evelyn seems more wild than Emily is. I like Emily, but the whole thing with Jeff is kind of putting me off. And Evelyn just seems like she's fun. Same here. What's your favorite? Just beer. I guess wine. Hard liquor. I'm a wine person. Thank you. I don't know. I guess wine. Wine is delicious. And it's made out of grapes. So it's like a fruit salad. Me too. We're so classy. Would you want to come to the party? Uh, sure. Count me in, maybe. Count me in? I was so hoping you'd ask. Absolutely, count me in. The only rule is you have to dress up. What should I dress up as? What would you go as? Jack Skellington, a vampire? I don't know. I'm going to do Jack Skellington, because that would be cute. Let's see if it creeps her out. Maybe I'll go as Jack Skellington. Or something. Oh my god, that'd be so cute! That'd be awesome, Sauce! We'll take some pictures together. I'll add you to the event page. Is it on Facenook? Oh wait, are we friends on Facenook? Of course it's on Facenook. I don't think so. Don't know. We should be. We should be. Nope. We weren't. But we should be. Then friend me when you get a chance, yo. Okay, yo. Face nook. Punk forever. Is she in a relationship? She hasn't mentioned anybody. Maybe her and Kelly are in a relationship. Nope, she's single. She was born on April 12th of 1989. And her profile picture is exactly the same as her little doohickey right here. Little icon. I read your survey. No, Halloween party? Party? Hallo Halloween party? Thrift shopping? Halloween. You plan to attend the Halloween party? Party. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Jackie's a tool. 
Yo, you put a census fail quote in your info. Yes, thank you for noticing. I worked hard on that. Seriously, you're like the coolest person I know. Love me, Evelyn. Ditto. What can I say? Forget who showed me them. Ditto. Yo, ditto. You're the coolest person I know. Laugh out loud. We're tools and it's terrific. So what are you up to? Some homework. Nothing really. Black magic. Black magic? I already told you. Oh shit, that's right. What sort of black magic? Standard stuff. Chatting with the devil. Making ghosts do my homework. Making ghosts do my homework. That sounds fun. Trying to get some ghosts to do my homework. What are you up to? Just listen to music. Census Fail just came out with a new album. Any good? You must be excited. Oh yeah, I saw that. You must be excited. Oh cool. You must be excited. Of course she is. She yelled it. Look at the exclamation point. It's been on repeat all day. Oh gosh. Sends me another link. Census fail. Sur sur still searching. Full album. Oh, that's what her little uh, icon is. It's a census fail thing. It's so hard when they're that pixelated to know. This is really good. Not a fan. Awesome sauce. This is really good. I bet you like it because punk's your favorite. This is really good. I'm so glad you like the same music as me. Seriously, you're pretty swell. Laugh out loud, thanks. You're swell too. It's good music. Laugh out loud, thanks. Evelyn. I haven't mixed up her and Emily yet, so that's good. I really like talking to you. I like it too. It's okay, I guess. I'm glad we're friends. Saying it's okay, I guess, is so passive-aggressive, it's sad. I like it too. Smiley face. I'm really glad we sat next to each other in history last year, laugh out loud. Although I feel like there's a lot about you I still don't know. Like what? Ask me anyways. I'm Ask me anything. I'm an open book. We'll pick I'm an open book. Hey, I'm an open book. Me too. I have an idea. Let's play a game. Is it 21 questions? I get to ask a question about whatever. Then you get to ask a question. Ask away. All right, ask away. And just ask what comes to mind first. If you take too long, it'll be my turn again. Are you ready? Are you going to be timing me, Evelyn? Because now I feel on the spot. I was born ready. As ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, absolutely. As ready as I'll ever be. I'll start with an easy one. Do you remember my favorite kind of movie? She likes horror movies. That's easy. It was horror, right? Yep, yep. I knew you would remember. I don't think we actually talked about what kind of movie was her favorite. Those were just the two that I had to pick from, and they were both horror. Now it's your turn. Quick, ask me anything. Favorite dessert? They're actually timing me. The pressure. The pressure is real. Brownies and ice cream. Oh my god, now I'm hungry. Let's see. Have you ever snuck out of your house? Yeah, a few times. Oh, I'm not I'm not timed on my answer, so I can I can calm down with that. Yeah, a few times to go hang out with friends and stuff. What kind of stuff? Oh shit, you badass. That's me. Your turn again. Done any drugs? Skip class, same question. Done any drugs? You ever done any drugs? Just weed, but I kind of like the idea of experimenting. All right, let's get serious. Do you have a crush on anyone? I don't know yet. Oh, scandalous. I wonder who it is. Well, I'm not telling you, Evelyn. I know what I'm asking next. Do you have feelings for anyone? Have you ever been in love? Ever had your heart broken? Do you have feelings for anyone? And if yes, who? That's two questions. I can't ask that. Unfair. That's like two questions in one. I know, Evelyn. I'm sorry. Only answer the first one. That's legal. It's one and a half at most. 
Oh, please. It's one and a half at most. You're a cheater, but I'll answer both. Feelings? I don't know. Maybe it's kind of complicated in a good way. What do you mean complicated? In a good way? It's never complicated in a good way. I don't know. Me and this person have a history together. Like the class? I'm trying to get her to say it's me. That's silly. Who is this person? What kind of history? What kind of history? I don't know, messy one. Stay away. Steve Myers, you know him, right? I bet you he's Swanky87 over there. Fake ID guy, he plays a guitar. Swanky87, we'll find out. Why are these people on my list if I don't know them? Yeah, me and him date, dated for a lot of my sophomore and junior year. It got pretty serious and I definitely think I loved him. Aww. Then he was going off to college, so he broke up with me last winter. That's sad. I'm sorry. That sounds complicated. Are you okay? That sounds complicated. I'd say I'm sorry, but that just, that's so generic. Yeah, that does sound complicated. Yeah, complicated and confusing. Love is. Like, I'm getting over him, it's just weird. Isn't he in college getting over him? Are you on and off? Off and on. I just totally changed those around. Getting over him? What do you mean by getting over him? Am I dumb? I mean, we're over. Okay, but the feelings still hang around. That's like the worst. When I worked, we were a really good couple. How serious were you? Did he love you? Was he your first boyfriend? How serious were you? That kind of gives you a grounds of where they're coming from and how much there was going on with them and how deep their relationship was. Pretty serious, I guess. Like, he was the first person I ever had sex with. There you go. That's why. Feelings for other people? How is moving on? Relationships since him? Do you have any feelings for other people? Trying to poke and prod a little bit. I mean, I had like a fling this past summer. That's not feelings. But nothing as serious as Steve, obviously. Fling? Still going on? With who? I'm going to be nosy. I fling with who? Because it wasn't with me. Brian, I don't think you know him. We fooled around, but like it was not, it was fun, not serious, you know. It was a hookup. Lana, if you don't mind me asking, have you ever had sex? No, I haven't. Kind of, absolutely. No, I haven't. I'm going to keep my stories between the two of them the same, as I've said before. No, I haven't. I feel like I'm not going in one way or the other right now, though. I think, I feel like I'm friend zoned by everybody. Oh, okay, well, can you still understand what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Think so. Love. Lust first love. I'm a virgin, not dumb. Not a lot of people know me and Steve had these plans for our future, so being together felt like a big deal. What kind of plans? Like, same college? What do you mean? What kind of plans? It's going to sound really stupid. Don't judge me, okay? I will totally judge you. I bet it won't. No judgment, of course not. No judgment. Come on, Evelyn. No judgment here. So I thought we'd go to the same college together. And then maybe, I don't know, get married, start a family, whatever. That's not stupid. Judge you for that? That sounds normal. That sounds normal. It's not wrong to want something. Now they have two different plans. It just feels silly now thinking about it. But I think that's why it's been hard to get over the breakup. That plan doesn't need Steve. I understand that. Would you go back to him? It doesn't need Steve. You know, that future doesn't need Steve. Oh, it was the fake ID guy. I know, and I still want that future even without Steve. 
But maybe that's silly. You have so much time. That's not silly. That's a great plan. I'm going to tell her she has so much time. Because things could change. She might want different things in the future. You never know. The future is still definitely in reach. Look at me being super encouraging. I just think people think it's stupid when I talk about it. It's your life. Fuck those people. I don't think it's stupid. Fuck those people. Who the fuck cares? Well, fuck those people. Fuck these snakes and fuck this plane. You can do whatever you want. Thanks, Lala. You've really made me feel a lot better. What are your plans after college? Do you want a family? I think I do. See, I said that I didn't know what I wanted. So I think saying that I think I do is not overly different than what I told Emily. I just said I didn't want to settle down right after college. So I feel like she was talking about like right after we got done with, you know, graduating and stuff like that. So I'm going to say, yeah, I think I do. Because it's not a definitive no. But it's not a yeah, definitely either. So we're going to go with that. Sure, I think so. Settling down sounds pretty great. Right? I'm so glad you don't think it's weird. I feel like I sound silly when I talk about it. Definitely not. It's not weird at all. You shouldn't feel silly. You shouldn't feel silly. Thanks so much for letting me rant about this. No problem, Evelyn. Hey, I just remembered it's still my turn to ask you a question. We're still playing? Laugh out loud? Okay, sure. Last one. Last one. Alright. But this is your last one. Oh, here's a good one. Would you ever date someone like me? Definitely. I don't know. We work best as friends. Oh, no, Mr. Bill. Uh, let's say definitely. We'll, we'll see where this goes. Yeah, definitely. Laugh out loud. You're pretty cool. Swell. You're pretty swell. Aw, oh, you're swell too. Well, thanks, Evelyn. Your turn. Last question. Don't fuck it up. Would you ever date me? Uh, are you tired? Same question. Would you? It's backspacing. Uh, are you getting tired? That's lame. So lame. Yo, what were you going to say? I saw you delete some shit. Uh, nothing. Same question as you. Would you date me? Same question as you. I was, I don't know, asking the same question as you. You haven't been in a serious relationship yet, but punk rock is your favorite. And we have the same life plan. So yeah, I could see that happening, laugh out loud. We'll see what the future holds. Look at that, that's cute. Sounds good, yeah, we'll see. You're pretty swell. You are pretty swell, Evelyn. I hate the word swell. I, I just, I can't. Shit, I know. Let's give each other code names. You first. Want one? No thanks. Yeah, for sure, I guess so. Yeah, for sure. Let's be five years old for a minute. Yay, what should it be? Uh, Emo Oreo. Emo Oreo. I like that name. Thank you. All right, my turn. Don't pick a shitty one. Eva, Lynn, Evie. I like Evie. It reminds me of the Pokemon. I should have put anal for my code name since that's my, na my real name backwards. Hey, me too. Good choice. Oh, wow. It's getting late, huh? And I still want to shower before bed. Time flies. You do? Shower, like, naked? You do you. I'm not going to mention her being naked. Yeah, I'm going to do me. I'm going to goo. Huh. But tonight was really fun. It really was. should do this again. It was all right. We should do this again. Good night, Emo Oreo. Bye. Talk to you later. Good night. Good night, Evie. I sense there's something in the wind that feels like tragedy's at hand, Sally. 
Amy Lee sings a fantastic rendition of that song in case anybody's interested. But anyway, so this was Emily is Away too. I'm going to play more later on when I have some time. I want to get through all of the different chapters before I try to do anything else. So there's, I'm probably just going to play this for a little bit until we get through it. I'm hoping it's not going to be like a super long game, but I like the fact that it's a lot longer than the last one that we had. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you next time.